All right, so we're in Mike's garage, and uh, I got hit yesterday by something that fell out of the sky, and it. Uh, we're trying to determine whether it's a meteorite that came out of the sky. So what kind of tests would you got to do on it, Mike, to <clears throat> before we do the unthinkable and cut into it? determine if it's magnetic and then see what sort of scratch it leaves on the ceramic face whether it's a powdery brown stain which will mean it's a terrestrial stone or if it leaves a pencil like scratch which will mean it's a ferrous magnetite or something yeah. so no scratch means it's another test that it could be a meteorite right all right so let's do the magnetic test first and this is just a magnet and you can see that it is indeed magnetic so it passes the first test so it is magnetic second test is going to be a scratch test and I'll try to get a little closer for it so if it leaves a if it leaves a powdery brown stain that looks sort of like crayon, then it's most likely a terrestrial, terrestrial rock, rock or some piece of slag or a clinker or something similar. If it leaves a, a single pencil-like mark, then it's most then that's a pretty good sign that it's a ferrous, some type of ferrous Earth, stone. Earthbound. Right. But no mark if it just scratches. Right. A single scratch. Could, okay. And we're going to do it fairly hard so we can and what we have is a very fine sharp scratch scratch and, mark um, but no color no color okay so our next test and I'm gonna pause the video for a second while we do this we're gonna set up the Dremel uh, the last test that they have us do is cut what they call a window and Mike's got a Dremel so we're gonna we're gonna hook that thing up and open up a window on it we also did a mini uh, a mini test with a piece of pea gravel for density and you can see the difference in color and the pea gravel is lighter and it is actually a little bit larger than our sample and the sample was actually heavier than the pea gravel so this is the part you never want to have to do but to be absolutely certain you got to do it Does it have any circles in it? What do they call it? Nodules? Need a magnifying glass. Alright, we're going to pause a second while we get a magnifying glass. <laughs> 